In this lesson, we're going to look at remapping and projecting objects to the C-plane. So remapping objects to a C-plane is a big time saver. Let's go ahead and create a text object. Click on the text icon. And Rhino is there by default, and that's fine. We'll go ahead and use that. We use a height of 10 millimeters, and we'll do a solid thickness, let's say 3 millimeters. I'm also going to click this checkbox, and that'll tell it to group the objects that it places. Let me type a zero to place this at our zero, zero coordinates. And now we have the word Rhino. You can see it's grouped if I click on it. So let's say I wanted to get the word Rhino, which is currently oriented to the top C plane. And I wanted to get it so that I can read it in the right viewport. Well, in order to do that manually, I'd have to do two things. I'd have to rotate it in one of my viewports to begin with switch over to a different viewport and apply the same command. And now it's visible in this right viewport. Well, that took me two moves to do that. So let me go ahead and undo this. Rather than do that, we can just go ahead and map this to whatever construction plane we'd like. So I can take the word Rhino, and under Transform, I can go to Orient and Remap to C-Plane. And if I read the command line, it's just asking me to click on whatever C plane I'd like to map this to. So I'm just going to click directly in the right C plane. And you can see immediately it's done both those steps for us. It's rotated at 90 degrees in one direction and then flipped in the other direction. And now the object's completely readable in the right viewport. Let me undo that. I'll reapply that command again. And I can map it. So we got that back to where we want. Now, the thing you have to be careful of is the window that's active when you start your map. So if I have my right viewport active, and I click this now, and then click in here, you can see that it doesn't give me the results that I wanted. So let's undo that. Now we'll make this viewport active to start with. Now I click on this, click here, and now it knows which way to turn it. So the input and the output are view dependent in this particular command. So it's something to sort of watch out for. Let me do a control Z and we'll get that back to where we were. We can not only map that to our default C planes, we can map that to named C planes as well. So let me just select this and we'll go ahead and put a nice chamfer through this. Candles. And I'll make that a nice bigger chamfer. So we've got that area there. And I'm going to make a construction plane right through this chamfer. So we're going to go ahead and create a custom C plane based on the chamfer area of this object. So we'll go to set C plane, three points. I'll click here, here, and here. And now we have our C plane going through this object. I'll delete that object. And I'll go ahead to set C plane and I'll choose named C planes. I'll do a save as and I'll call that box one. Make sure you don't have any spaces in your name. Spaces won't allow you to do the mapping that we need to do in the next step. Then I'll hit OK. Box one shows up and I can close this. I can switch this back to world top view, which is again our default C plane in the perspective window. I can now take these objects, I can do a transform orient and remap to C plane. Click on C plane and it's asking for a name. I'll type box one and you've got to type it exactly the same as the name you gave it. And then I'll hit enter. And you can see the object has mapped itself to the C plane. Remember, I deleted the box that we based the C-plane on, but we only used that box to set up the C-plane. It was never actually mapped to the C-plane. Now, another handy thing is the project to C-plane. Let me go ahead and take care of that and get rid of that. Let me make sure my C-plane is set to world top. And I'm going to draw a box here. Let's drag that down. I'm going to grab this, and holding down Control, I'm going to move this in elevator mode so that it's actually below the surface. So I'm going to go into my top view here, and I'm going to start drawing. Let's say I'm drawing a curve that I want it to be partially on and partially off this surface. 
and accidentally I kind of snap to that endpoint and come back around. I'll type a C. And I'll switch this on. Let me turn on my control points. Let me pull a few points out of there to clean this curve up a little bit, make it a little less lumpy. So we kind of move the points around. We edit that the way that we want that. Let me undo that one. And things are looking pretty good here, I think. I hit escape twice to switch off the control points. And now I go into my perspective view, and I can see that something went really wrong there. So what it has done is it's gone ahead and it snapped down to my box when I accidentally got that corner snap for the control point. But because of the way I have my drawing set up, I have it set to planar. So whatever the last snap was, the next points will be drawn on the same plane as that previous snap point until it's given another point to snap to. So I was drawing originally on the construction plane, accidentally snapped to this point on the box, and from then on, every point I drew was on the same plane as that box. And when I closed the curve, the point down here on this box did a closed curve and brought itself back up to get to the original curve. So if I delete that box, there's a couple ways I can go ahead and get all these points on the original C plane. One we've done a few times, and that's to do a transform set points. I can also do a transform to C plane, which will save me having to go in. If I do set points, remember I've got to go in and I've got to tell it what plane I actually want it to align to. And if I have a custom C plane, set points is not going to allow me to snap to that plane. But very quickly, I can do a project C plane. I want to delete the input curve, so I don't want these curves to exist afterwards. So I hit yes. And it's very quickly gone and projected that up to the original plane for me. If I move to this viewport, you can see the curve hasn't changed and everything is perfectly projected onto this C plane. So that concludes our look at remapping objects to C planes and projecting objects to the C plane.